What is up, guys? Welcome to part three of my Tin Can Brothers Solve It Squad reaction, uh, where we left off last time, gangs all together, Esther and Gwen and Keith and Scraggs, and they're gonna solve a mystery. They're gonna solve a mystery. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna go well or not. They have all definitely changed quite a bit from their Solve It Squad days, but... I mean, even if they are just terrible at solving mysteries, I know it's going to be hilarious, and I know it's going to be well-written, because so far, it's just been incredible. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it means the absolute world to me. Uh, remember, if you don't want to wait for each individual part, they are available on my Patreon right now. Link in the description. But let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome to the Mayberry Garden Motel and Spa. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, I'm exhausted. This is my second shift in a row. I'm Marvin the valet. Hey, old man. Um, it's a relic, so don't scratch it. <laughs> sure thing, kiddo. And uh, for your troubles, it's one dollar. <laughs> Thanks, boss. <laughs> wow. Maybe we should keep an eye on him. Nah, old people love me. Well, I'll be, if it ain't some weary traveler. <laughs> My name's Cole, and I'm happy to be a service to y'all. Hope y'all had a pleasant drive up here, because your journey's about to meet its end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, this dang chest cold. Did Marvin give y'all any trouble? No, just some sass. <laughs> that old sourpuss. He's been in such a grumpy mood since we all started working double overtime for the summer season. <laughs> Only problem is, business has been as slow as a mule, so our tips have been mighty low. Marvin's having trouble paying for his dialysis, so you can imagine how irritable he is, probably at his wit's end. Oh, God. On the verge of doing something rash, no doubt. <laughs> Any idea why business has suffered? Can't imagine it has anything to do with the colorful staff. Ooh, I can sense your sarcasm and I don't appreciate it one bit. No, no, no. no. Business has been slow on account of the haunting. Haunting day? Oops, I've said too much. Enjoy your stay. I'm available whenever y'all need me. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Esther, it looks like we have our first suspect. Cole, jot that down. <laughs> Who? It was Cole. He was the bellhop. We just spoke to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. My ambient trip kind of kicked into high gear back there. I missed some stuff. Okay. Oh, my well, God. Well, you just make a note that Cole is suspect one. Where? In your notebook! <laughs> Did you forget your notebook? Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Teach. Didn't realize it was the first day of school. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Mayberry Garden Motel and Spa. Once you lay down to rest, you never rise again. <laughs> <laughs> Until morning, because our beds are so dang comfortable. I'm sorry, frog in my throat. There's a cold going around. I'm Ricky. You must be Scragtowski party of four. How did you know? Maybe we're not the only detectives in town. <laughs> <laughs> no, no detective work here, my lady. It's just you're the only guest we've had in weeks. No one else has been able to last the night, even with the free Wi-Fi. It seems we have a very frightful spook, and it's scaring away all the customers. Smoke, you say? <laughs> <laughs> no smoking, please, ma'am. We also have a very strict no skateboarding and no pets policy. Oh, well, that won't be a problem. <laughs> By spook, you mean a man wearing a robe performing basic parlor tricks to make it seem like he's conjuring real magic, right? I mean, ghosts aren't real. We've learned that the hard way more than a few times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I've seen it. I was restocking the towels in the fitness room when it came round close to midnight. Maniacally laughing and humming a haunting tune, it paralyzed me. Made the hair stand up on the back of my neck. I advise double locking your doors after midnight, or at least putting out the do not disturb sign. 
<laughs> so that's why we're here, my man, to catch this guy. Or girl? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> For Mr. Scragtowski and Miss Esther, a single with a roll away and the honeymoon suite for Mr. and Mrs. Keith Swanson. I thought we were doing boys and girls. Yeah, I called ahead and I changed the reservation. Honestly, you gotta hit the hay soon because this ambience working double time. Beep, beep, the luggage train has left the station. Here Perfect. we go. Perfect. Cole, you can take this gentleman's bags to the single twin room. Shit, I don't want to share a room with Keith. Oh, you can bunk with me. Sleepover. <laughs> Enjoy that free mini bar, girl. You know what? Okay. <laughs> so what? Now I have to share the tiny room with Keith? Every room's to die for. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Be sure to wash your face. This is a nasty virus. <laughs> I bet that concierge Ricky told you all it was me who got everyone sick. Well, he's a dirty liar. Want to know how I know? His girlfriend Beth had mono last month, and he's been cheating on her with Stephanie, who's now sick. Her and I shared a mojito on break last night, and now here we are. We're all sick. We all have mono. So I wouldn't trust a thing that scoundrel Ricky said. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call the elevator for y'all. But he said there was free Wi-Fi. You think we have to pay for it? Whoops, this one's out of order. Better try the one down the hall. Nope, nope, this isn't an elevator. This is just a door with a clock above it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the next thing you know, they're going to tell us that the, the spa doesn't even include a pool. Actually, it doesn't. There's only a sauna. And the demon smeared hot pig's blood in there, so I wouldn't go in there without sandals on. Camille Fitzgerald, <laughs> I'm the owner. Um, hello? This is not pig's blood, it's bird blood. <laughs> this broad can't even tell her blood's apart. Ambient, I'm on it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, nice to meet you. I am addicted to drugs. <laughs> <laughs> You're the owner, but you're young and hot. <laughs> you make me blush. I must admit I'm actually a big fan of the fabled Solvent Squad. You helped my father out of a mighty pickle years and years ago. Ah, the case of the people eating pickle. I'm glad to see you're all still working together. <laughs> Don't worry, ma'am. We'll find your demon conjurer. Now, would you happen to have an Instagram account or a Snapchat geo filter? We don't, but please feel free to post as much as you can. We could use all the good press we can get. If I can't turn a profit soon, I... Well, to be honest, I often wish I was freed from the burden of this place. The old owner told me it was haunted, but I didn't believe him. Looks like I was dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, there's a there's cold. There's a cold going around, everyone has it, we know. Listen, ma'am. The damn mojito. I'll tell you what. If the demon doesn't run you out by the end of your stay, and you lot really can figure out what's going on around here, I'll give you the rooms for free. It's the least I could do to reward your bravery. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't think I didn't catch you eyeing Camille. All right, gang, it looks like the sauna is the best place to start, so... I suggest we split Let's up. Let's split up, gang. <laughs> I'll take the, the fitness room because I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Gwen, would you care to uh, join? Join Scraggs? <laughs> Absolutely. Look at us. A couple of old childhood friends playing detective again. Woo! Oh, no. Say? No joke. I thought the safety was on. <laughs> Wow. Oh, jeez, please, ma'am. Please, will you stop that? Excuse me, stop that, ma'am, please. But Thank it you. is a film. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, all guests must have a towel on in the sauna. Okay, ma'am. Well, in the sauna? Oh, no. I, yeah, it's okay. I am Agent Scragtowski of the Federal Bureau of Investigations, and this is a crime scene. Now, I understand that you're just doing your job, but I suggest that you stop what you're doing right now unless you'd like me to book you for tampering with evidence, okay? Wow, Scrags. That was so... Sexy? You know what? Let's take that back from the towel line. Same intention, same ferocity, and action. Okay. I'm not doing that again. Go oh, uh, you can just think about why you said what you said and paraphrase something similar. Okay? This is weird. <laughs> I am not a camera ready, so I must, I must go. No, 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 no. Just, no, just... no, no. 
No, no, no. You have absolutely no tact. Thanks a lot, Gwen. Uh, for preventing the crime scene from contamination and clearing it for our investigation, you are welcome. <laughs> sure, uh, but, you know, she wasn't a witness, okay? She could have had key information about the demonic apostle. Oh, please, she was nobody. <laughs> Trust me. Look, the writers of ICU used to always shoehorn in a bunch of ancillary characters to throw off the scent of the real killer. It's a classic <laughs> mystery track. Okay, well, here's the thing, Gwen. Three guys didn't just make this whole thing up in a room a month ago from their imaginations. <laughs> <laughs> this is real life. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, Dad. I'll be sure to pass that on to my failing marriage and asshole kids. I was just trying to <laughs> offer a different perspective. Well, I don't want the opinion of a celebrity. I want the help of a friend. You... You think I'm a celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> Can we just stick to the rule book here? Oh my god, she's incredible. Let's <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just gonna. Okay, so we're doing. I'm gonna kill you at the end of the third, third time. time. So this is like the first time that we've been paired up, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've been avoiding this moment for years. Ah. <laughs> cool, cool. So, um. Okay, can we just get this over with? I fell asleep in my contacts back there, and now they're all dry, so let's just do what we need to do and go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. So, um... Great. I'll just start over by the treadmills. You look around here by the dumbbells. We'll circumnavigate the room. We'll meet back in the middle to go over what we find, and then we'll... Okay, 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 okay. hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, that's not how I do things, okay? I don't know how you do whatever you do in the group, but I have a different approach. <laughs> How do you do things, Key? <laughs> so, uh, I... I'm gonna check over by the dumbbells. Okay, okay, chill, dude, just chill. Now that we are spa ready, it's time to look for clues. Finally, now. I realize what's been bugging me since we got here. <laughs> Camille misidentified the shape of the blood splatter. She said it was a pentagram. Those are five-sided. And this has six. Huh. Looks like this spook failed Geometry 101. A eh, partner? <laughs> <laughs> why, are you, why are you talking like that? Please don't break the reality of the scene. I'm trying to get into character, okay? <laughs> the stakes are real. Okay, you just don't understand. It's an actor thing. For crying out loud, Gwen, can we focus up? This is an active crime scene. We're running out of time, and I'm sweating my balls off here. Whoa. Stay in that. I will be right there. <laughs> Looks like things are really... Heating up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep workshopping it. No. Stephanie, is that you? I thought I told you to stay out of... Oh, Mr... Swanson. <laughs> Keith Swanson, leader of the Salvage Squad. Oh, yes, of course. We, we met earlier this evening. You probably don't remember. Oh, please. I never forget a face. <laughs> Especially when it comes with an exceptional pair of toddies. Excuse me! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> um, if you don't mind... If you don't mind, we're trying to work here, so maybe, like, get out. Apologies. Camille, this is my associate. Miss Esther... Esther. <laughs> y yes, of, of course, I... I'm... I'll, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll leave you to it then. Ms. Esther Esther. <laughs> Mr. Keith Swanson. <laughs> I will have her! <laughs> oh, oh, Keith. <laughs> you don't know my last name, do you? What? what? Yeah, of course I do. Come on, it's always been Esther 
backpack, <laughs> blue glasses. Esther, back with blue glasses. <laughs> Good try, man. Fucking guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're a piece of shit. You know that. What? You are gonna sleep with that nice woman. Oh come on, man. I'm with Gwen. <laughs> No, you're not. Uh, yes, I am. Gwen is my one and only. We've been together since we were kids. Keith, we all know that Gwen's been stringing you along for basically your entire relationship. Oh, oh really, Sherlock? <laughs> Prove it. For crying out loud, Gwen, can we focus for up here? For crying out loud, hit that. Yeah. For crying out loud, Gwen, can we focus can up we here? What? Can we focus up here? Can we what? Can we focus up here? Yes. <laughs> can you hear that? <laughs> that was raw, honestly. I did. I felt it. I felt it in my. I felt it in my chest. I was like, I was like a lion. There was so much rage. Yes, good. you were. You killed it, Scrap. Killed it. We killed it. We killed it. Killer, kill, killer. We are, we are supposed to be hunting a killer. Why are you making me do acting exercises? How long have we been doing? We should be working. Oh God, it's so hot in here. Oh, the thermostat's been stuck at 300 degrees since someone jabbed this bloody knife into it. Oh my God. Let me see that. Not until I get to Instagram it. No, please stop. We're not done yet. Then there was the uh, creepy actor from the case of the witch in the wings, the lonely fry cook from the case of the fast food ghoul, and the hunky lifeguard from the case of the swim meat swamp thing. The list goes on. Not to mention, she is currently married to a very rich venture capitalist, and they have made two human children together. <laughs> okay, but when we were kids, she was undercover. She was cheating on you, Keith. Oh. No, no, oh. no, 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 <laughs> no, no, because, okay, because then if she was done with me all those years ago, why did she name her second kid after me? His middle name. Yeah, Yuri K. Sardarov, what do we think the K stands for? Kevin. What? <laughs> she named him after her late father-in-law. Kevin. Keith? Oh, jinkies Christ! What? Oh. One of my contacts popped out during that massive eye roll. Don't move. <laughs> God. Oh, ugh. Someone left this disgusting, sweaty towel on the ground. Esther, this isn't a towel. It's a clue. Ah! Okay, what is it? <laughs> oh my god Ugh. the chemistry i cannot get over the chemistry everybody is so funny with everybody else oh this is this is a treat and so esther was like i can't see my sight and i was like esther don't worry i will be your eyes <laughs> That is not a towel. That is a Solvent Squad tank top tri blend size medium. Looks like our killer is a fan. Interesting. Oh, Four rails here. Oh. oh, thanks for grabbing this round, Esther. Oh, no, these are all for me. Wait, it's gotta so be the owner, the right? Demonic Apostle? <laughs> if the Demonic Apostle is a Solvent Squad stalker, that's easy. I have filed 14 restraining orders against creeps in the last year alone. Why don't we start there, Scratch? 14? Okay, hold on, guys. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Well, no, but let's look at the facts, right? I mean, given how sweaty this tank top is, it's clear that our perpetrator was working out. Betty thinks she's pretty strong. <laughs> but not strong. It no! <laughs> Oh, Keith. <gasps> okay, so cheers. <laughs> hey, uh, Esther, mind if I order you an extra pair of glasses? Save the vision pun, Scrags. Can a gal just drink her four beers in peace? No, I... I mean, I mean, literally, Esther, these, these, these are your glasses from when we were kids. I snagged them from Keith's van earlier. Oh, my glasses. Oh, 
okay, well, the prescription's about 10 years old. It's not, not that much better than complete blindness, but I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cute. No, please, I'm trying to keep images of me off the cloud. Oh, sorry. And guys, guys, <laughs> this has actually been a blast so far. <laughs> And I know I can't put this thing down, and I must seem like a nag when I try to corral y'all for group photos. And oh, <laughs> listen to that. <laughs> I guess there's still a little Georgia Peach left in me. <laughs> and I know this is a weird thing to say because we are investigating a real sicko, but it's magic when we're all together, and I'm just trying to capture a few memories for a rainy day. <laughs> yeah, well, it is sort of like old times, huh? Well, almost. Hey, what about a sandwich trick, huh? <coughs> sandwich trick? Sandwich trick? Sandwich trick? Oh, this can't be good. Sandwich trick! I'm gonna get in there, my friend's gonna do a sandwich trick! Hell yes, I love Keith, us! Come on, guys, <laughs> really, I, I haven't in years. <laughs> Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Did someone order sandwich material? Oh, yeah! But seriously, what the hell's going on over here? Oh, you're gonna love this. Scraggs here is a master at sandwich tricks. Sandwich tricks? <laughs> is this some sort of sick joke? Oh, no, Hermano? This cat's legit. He can shuffle the ingredients of a bologna sandwich like a professional dealer shuffles a deck of cards. Yeah, we're talking Vegas, baby. Yeah, well, when you spend that much time eating sandwiches as a kid, they kind of become a part of you. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm pretty rusty. Oh, come on, Scrags. For old time's sake. Okay. Yes! <laughs> oh, Scrags gonna, okay. gonna do a sandwich trick. Scrags gonna do a sandwich trick. Scrags gonna do a sandwich trick. Scrags gonna do a sandwich trick. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is that? Oh <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw it. No. It was always a stupid trick, and we were stupid for liking it. Oh no, Scrags! Don't feel bad. Hey, you want to show him our clue? Uh, sure. Why not? Well, guys, uh, we found a bloody knife. <laughs> Jinkies! Did you tell the spoon and fork? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, uh, it's a pretty good lead, too, seeing as it's the same murder weapon that killed my best friend, Kluber. Yes, except it's a replica. What? No, it's not. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Oh, uh, hello. I think I know a prop knife when oh, I no. see it. I mean, God, is this guy oh. ever before? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> huh. A prop knife and a Solvit Squad tank top. Yeah, that sounds like a copycat killer. Or Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's definitely a copycat killer. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the same knife, okay? I know it. I, I, I know it in my heart, my sad, broken heart. Chinky Scraggs, even I can see that that's a fake knife, and I'm currently so blind, you all are just beige blobs. <laughs> oh, maybe it's that bellhop Cole. He's a real shit stirrer, right? Or the owner, Camille, huh? She said she wanted to get rid of this place, plus we know she's a fan. No, no, no. <laughs> okay? Hey, you're all wrong. I'm sorry, you are. <laughs> Listen to me. I am an FBI agent. Okay? <laughs> I know for sure that our suspect is the same as Klubert's killer, and I'm right, and that's final, period. Um, Keith? Kindly remind Scraggs that he just a second ago told us not to jump to conclusions. Uh, Scraggs? <laughs> 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 oh, Scraggs is pissed. You know what you guys are? You know what you are? You're losers. No. That's what. No, you are. You are. Okay? I moved on. I moved on. I grew up. I'm not chasing the glory days or using drugs to numb my super brain. I dealt with my demons, ma'am. Do you know how hard it is to live with adult onset diabetes? 
I mean, it's not as hard as type 1 diabetes. Those people are heroes. But I still have a nasty <laughs> eating addiction and get my life together. So if y'all could just shut up and follow my lead, and for the love of God, will you stop filming me, Gwen? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, this is just such good drama for the sizzle. Sizzle? The sizzle reel? For the pitch? For our reality show? <laughs> on TV? Surprise! Unbelievable! Just another round, please! Yeah, so all that memory for a rainy day garbage was just bullshit, huh, Gwen? Oh, this is so you! No, oh. Scrubs, I meant every word! Hey, hey! Remember the sauna? Let's keep that chemistry alive. Wait, wait, wait what sauna? What? Stay out of the teeth. <laughs> oh, okay. Keith, you're going to let him talk to you like that? No. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Are, <laughs> you are the worst of all, Gwen. You know why? Because you lie and you manipulate people because you're so damn afraid of becoming irrelevant. But guess what? You already are. You hit rock bottom a long time ago. And I know. Okay, because I've been there too. But unlike me, you're never going to pull yourself out of it. Because you don't have the strength to. Ouch. You're just keep waiting for someone else to do it for you. But you can't accept that no one will. Because no one cares! Ooh. Welcome to the club. Ooh. How does it feel? No one cares. Yes. Never talk to my girl like that again. <sighs> Babe. <laughs> God damn it, Joey. <laughs> I mean, I get it, but... Are you happy? <sighs> Hell yeah! Oh. <laughs> See? She is definitely the happiest of them. <laughs> no tip. Again, I knew these meddlesome kids were cheap the minute they walked through our doors. They're nothing but trouble, and I won't stand for it. I'm taking my break. <laughs> Ain't that just the way? <laughs> I like the way that Rodney one looked at me when she came in. Martin that Rodney one. Your Long Island ass tea. Hell no! You're the reason we all got sick this week. Nah, -uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> that was Ricky. He's the one who spread the motto. Hey guys, it's me, Beth. Ricky's girlfriend. How is everyone? <laughs> and look who I brought, the maid, Stephanie. Good evening, comrade. <laughs> Ma, that's it. I'm tired of being sick, and I'm tired of lying for you, Ricky. Cole, please, don't. <laughs> Beth, Ricky's been cheating on you with Stephanie. Her and I shared a mojito on break last night, and now we all have your mono. What? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Mazel tov, you two. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, how could you? <laughs> Listen, Beth, you're the only gal for me. I, I swear it. I, I, uh, I uh, <laughs> Beth, oh, you bastard. I, what's all the commotion in here? I don't pay you to bicker. I pay you to run a motel <laughs> and spa. If the demon doesn't run us out of business, you lot sure will. Now, please. Return to your servants' quarters. The witching hour is almost upon us. And we must take care of our guests. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That Brian Rosenthal. <laughs> Not only were they like the fastest costume changes I've ever seen, uh, but to keep all of that straight, like that was so funny funny oh my god like the tin can brother well really everybody involved is really just oh they're so good and they're really just bringing like their all to this and it's really coming through like this is god this is so good i really hope it ends just as good Man, this was like the Brian Rosenthal hotel like that <laughs> he is so Funny. I, I really need to see him in more things. Or, or maybe just more Tin Can Brothers stuff. Because he is so funny. I feel like I always give Joey like so much credit in Tin Can Brothers stuff. And he is really good. He's very funny, very talented. 
but Brian deserves just as much love. And honestly, so does Corey. Like, they wouldn't be what they are if any of the three weren't there. They're just, oh, they're good. Uh, but as far as, like, the actual, like, villain goes, it's got to be Camille, right? Or Camille? Uh, I mean, she was, like, the big fan. She could have, like, lured them to the hotel. Maybe, like, if nobody else can have the Solvent Squad, or, like, if I can't have the Solvent Squad, nobody can. She might be trying to kill them. I, I don't know, man. Like, I... Uh... I really don't know. <laughs> but Ashley and Joey, though, they are so damn funny together. Like, that whole scene in the sauna going through, like, the acting lessons. Fuck, I could have watched a whole hour of that. That was... That was incredible. And really, Keith and Esther, as well, had amazing chemistry and so, so funny. Even when Esther was dropping the truth bombs about how Gwen isn't with him and she's been stringing him along forever and all of these ghouls and two human children. That was, that was sad. I mean, that was, that's, that's unfortunate. It had to be said, but, you know, just ugh, seeing Keith there hurting just made me hurt. Oh, I feel bad for you, pal. Um, but, so this is just a, a weird kind of little tangent here, but I think that honestly, with the right ingredients, I really think I could shuffle a sandwich together or a couple of sandwiches together. It'd have to be some really thick bread, like, I like, or not even thick, but hearty, like potato bread or something like that. I don't know. I'll, I'll work on it for the next couple of weeks. I'll keep you posted if I ever seem to master it. Uh, but at the end, though, with the fake knife, I so thought that uh, Gwen was just gonna stab Keith to death. I was like, there's no way she's gonna be wrong. She's wrong about all of this stuff. It's real life. It's not a movie set. Uh, but now that everybody knows that it is a fake knife, literally saw the retracting blade, why does, um, oh God, why does Joey Richter still think that that is the knife? He saw it. He knows. He knows that it's not real. Does he just want it to be real so much that he's refusing to see what's right in front of him? Because if so, that would be... That would be really sad. But, you know, it's been 20 years and he clearly never got over the loss of his puppy, his his little dog. Oh my god, man. This is like... This is like Scooby-Doo mixed with John Wick with a little bit of It sprinkled in. Like, this is... This is... This is... This is pretty intense. This is getting intense. It's getting really good. Uh, and Joey's moment when he was just being so mean and just tearing down Gwen at that whole monologue there. Oh my god, that was like Joey's Tony moment. Like that, that is some of the best acting that I've seen out of Joey Richter. That was, that was really, really good. I think it was a little bit too much, maybe just because I love Gwen so much, or just... Ashley Clements by proxy uh, <laughs> but I thought that it was a little bit over the line uh, I mean nobody likes uh, someone just filming everything and making a reality TV show about you or hoping to but uh, I don't know I don't know you guys let me know what you think down in the comments but I am really excited to get to the end of this 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 has been a lot of fun and I'm probably gonna have to go back and rewatch this pretty much as soon as I'm done, just to catch everything else. Like this, oh man, I love this show. And just one more little tangent here before I let you go. I don't know if you guys caught this or not, but at a certain point, Joey Richter's character, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say he references or pays homage to the amazing action film with uh, Gary Busey and Keanu Reeves' Point Break. Where at a certain point, Joey says, I am an FBI agent. And it just reminded me so much of when Keanu says the exact same thing in Point Break. I am an FBI agent. I don't know if that was a conscious decision or not, but I choose to believe that it was. Uh, so Tin Can Brothers, if you're watching, thanks for that. It's going to make me have to watch Point Break tonight. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the finale in the last part here in a couple of days.